Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. Today, we're going to talk about doing a case sensitive comparison between two strings in your Microsoft Access database. Today's question comes from Amelia in Providence, Rhode Island, one of my platinum members. Amelia says, I need to verify that what the user types into a particular text box is exactly what is requested, including capitalization. How can I do a case sensitive comparison in Access? Well, Amelia, to do this, we're going to use the stir comp function. Stir comp, uh, string comparison, I guess it stands for, right? It takes two or three bits of data. String one, string two, just by themselves, will give you a normal comparison. That's what Access usually does. So it ignores capitalization, right? So capital Jim Kirk and lowercase Jim Kirk are basically the same thing. But if you add a third parameter with a zero in it, it'll do what's called a binary compare. Now, binary means it's going to actually check the ASCII code values of each character, and they have to be identical. All right, so let's see how this works in your database. As a prerequisite, I'm going to use calculated fields in a query for this. You could do it in a form. You could do it in VBA code. You can do it all, all over the place. Stir, stir comp works everywhere. Um, but if you don't know how to make calculated fields, watch this video first. So here I am in my tech help free template. This is a free database. You can download off my website if you want to. Let's make a query, create query design. And I'm going to turn this guy off and let's bring in just the customer table. Let's compare first name and last name. All right, so let's come over here. And let's say, let me zoom in so you can see it. Shift F2, I'll zoom in. All right, let's make uh, just X is the name of the field and we'll say it's first name equals last name. That's going to say, is first name equal to last name? You can do that without the if function, right? You just say first name equals last name. It'll return a true or false value. And if I run that, you can say they all return false. Remember, false is zero and true is non-zero, basically negative one usually, but it's non-zero, okay? So if I come over here and I put in Kirk on that one, now they equal each other, okay? But if I put in capital Kirk, they still equal each other because normally by default, Access does a text level comparison. So it doesn't check case. So that's where stir comp comes into play. So let's go back here. All right, now stir comp works a little differently. With you do true, false, you get zero, negative one. Now stir comp works a little different. Zero is if they're equal, okay? Negative one means string one is less. Positive one means string one is greater than. So it's a little bit differently. So we're gonna get rid of this one. All right, now we're going to come in here and say, we'll just say a normal compare. We'll be doing normal compare. All right, so stir comp of first name, comma, last name. Just, just by that, we'll do a normal text level compare. We'll see what we get. All right, run it. We get some zeros, some ones, some negative ones. Negative one here means that Richard is less than Rost, which R-I alphabetically is less than R-O. See how that works? All right. Kirk equals Kirk, because remember, we're doing a normal comparison, so it doesn't check case, all right? So that one's equal, that's a zero. Deanna Troy, D is less than T, so it's a negative one, same with Jean-Luc Picard. William Riker, W is greater than R, so that's a positive one. See how stir comp works? It's a little different, okay? Now, let's do the binary comparison. Binary means every digit is compared to its ASCII value. And, and in the ASCII chart, we've talked about ASCII charts before. All the uppercase letters have lower values than all the lowercase letters because originally when the chart was made, it was all you know just like the uppercase letters on the keyboard and then they added the lowercase letters later. Oh. All right, so let's do that. Let's do a binary comparison. So we're gonna go zoom in, right, binary. Okay, stir comp, first name, comma, last name, come on, I can't type today, comma zero. Zero is that binary option. All right, yeah, it's got a, a value somewhere else. We'll talk about that later. All right, but just, just use zero, trust me. Hit okay. And now run it, okay. Again, negative one. Now this one's showing up as negative one, which means that all caps Kirk is less than Kirk with a lowercase i because the lowercase letters have higher ASCII values. So basically it's not the same thing. Okay, just like down here, if I went, you know, capital Deanna, like that, you'll see it goes to positive one because this 
is higher than this in the ASCII chart. Okay. If you go to Microsoft's website, look up the stir comp function, you'll see here it is, string one, string two. Okay, then the comparison option. Right down here, you got VB binary compare. That's the one I just taught you, zero. Yes, that's an actual constant you can use in VB programming. You can't use that in queries. All right, so that's why I just, I don't even bother with that. I just use the zero. All right, and basically one and two, for the most part, it's the same thing. It's a textual comparison. Okay, and here's the value. String one is less than string two, blah, blah, blah. Nulls, if either one of them is null, the result will be null. So comp will return a null value. All right, and it gives you some examples down here and stuff. There you go. Those are the VB example. Okay, works pretty much the same way as what I just showed you. So there you go. There's your tech help video for today. That's a real simple way to do a, a, a case sensitive comparison, right? I uh, hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really wanna learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. 
Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.